you ever seen somebody at the grocery store, you ever seen a fella in there staring at a head of cabbage? I was up there one time, I seen a dude all by himself staring at a head of cabbage. I got a theory about that. That guy's wife sent him up there to get a head of lettuce. <laughs> all cabbage ought to come with a label on it that says, this is not what your wife wants you to buy. <laughs> Three days before Thanksgiving, my wife sends me up to the grocery store to get some yams. 45 daggum minutes, I'm looking for yams. I can't find a daggum yam. I come home, I said, they ain't got no yams up there. He goes, you mean to tell me three days before Thanksgiving, they don't got no sweet potatoes at the grocery store? <laughs> I'll be right back. But I'm on a diet now, I'm eating nothing but fruit loops. But my wife has me on a, <laughs> my wife has me on a diet now where I can have one cheat day. So I can have a hamburger with the cheese and the bun one day a week. Or anytime I drive by a fast food restaurant when she's not with me in the car. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> she's a stickler too, I'll tell you what. She'd be up here sleeping at 2.30 in the morning, the dog go down there and bark at the door for 10 minutes. She don't hear nothing. She's racked out. I got to go down there and let the dog out. So the next day I go down there, I'm kind of hungry. I pour a little, little bowl of Cap'n Crunch down there. I hear, get out of Cap'n Crunch! <laughs> what the hell? I should have barked when I poured that Cap'n Crunch in there is what I should have done. It sucks getting old and fat, I tell you. I remember when my beard turned white, my, my, my wife was like trying to comfort me. Oh, that's okay, honey. I like somebody with a little salt and pepper in their beard. Made me feel a little better. Then she goes, it's the corner in your teeth that's disgusting. <laughs> I was going to say broccoli, but none of y'all believe I eat broccoli. All right, so I saying that. You went upside down. Ah! Oh, I get done, I go, you didn't tell me you went upside down. The guy running, it goes, it's not supposed to. How about that Ferris wheel? You like that Ferris wheel? Who, me either. Oh, yeah, the Ferris wheel. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing I like better in the whole world than being completely bored and terrified at the same time. <laughs> Which, by the way, is the same thing my wife told me on her honeymoon right there. <laughs> you ever get stuck on the Ferris wheel? Oh, man, I was up here with my kids. We were stuck. They was crying, freaking out, trying to calm them down. Don't worry, kids. We'll be all right. I'm sure that guy running it with seven fingers and a pentagram tattoo. All right, I'm sure. My wife likes to go with me when I go to Las Vegas because she likes to go see the Chippendales. Yeah. You know why she likes going to the Chippendales? She didn't marry very good. <laughs> she married a Chunkendale. She gives me money to put my clothes back on, but she does. <laughs> I had to go get a flu shot one time. I didn't want to go to the doctor, and my wife goes, well, shoot, run up to Walmart. They're giving flu shots. Are you kidding me? I ain't getting a flu shot at Walmart. <laughs> that gum, normally I gotta get vaccinated before I go in there. <laughs> get a flu shot at Walmart. The flu's the last thing I'm worried about at Walmart, all right? Gum, they probably got Ebola behind a box in there somewhere I didn't know about. I was up there one time, there was a dude out front in a hazmat suit. I'm like, is it safe to go in there? He goes, yeah, why? I go, you're in a hazmat suit. He goes, I know, I work here, I'm collecting the carts. 